Well, hey everybody, it's Blake's Nature Life. We just did an air layer on a guava, pink guava. So I'm gonna show you how to prep it when you cut it off the tree, how to rehydrate it and get the soil ready. And you can see, I use zip ties to hold it in place. Hold the material in place. You can see all the roots. This is after a month or so growing. And one even started growing above. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to rehydrate it. It's a little on the dry side. So you're going to want to use, um, I use well water. If you don't have well water, never use tap water. You can use spring bottled water or distill. Just make sure it's not chlor uh, with chlorine in it. It will mess up the roots. So we're gonna want to cut it. Cut these. Uh, we're gonna cut these zip ties off. Show you how I'm gonna do it without hurting the plant. I like to cut near the the edge. Make sure you can see. And I like to cut off some of the leaves so it can focus. There's already new buds pushing out, so we'll take off a lot of these leaflets. That way it doesn't dry out so quick. And you can see there's new buds pushing out. I'm going to leave them. There's another one right there. Right, I'm going to just leave that right there and this one here. So let's take this off. Pull this back. And you can use, I use the, uh, the sticky one that they use to cover like bowls and plates, but it has a sticky texture to it. You can see it has dried after so many months. So now we need to hydrate it. See how it's dried. And that's enough roots to get it started. And I used a little bit of root hormone and where I scraped it it even grew it above to the roots so let's set this in here and while we let this get rehydrated I'm gonna go get the soil ready for the container so I'll be right back okay so now that we have the soil mixture well drained I buy this from a mulch place. It's already got slow release fertilizer, pine bark, a little bit of sand. It does does really good for me and my plants. They do I love it so much better. What's really bad for a potted plant if it has soil that's not well drained. So I've been soaking it for a few minutes. Wanna peel some of the stuff back. This this was really dry. You want to suck it for a little bit. We'll peel some of this stuff back, break it up, give these roots a shot. Okay. Now I'll push some of the dirt back. I'm gonna go just right above this spot where the roots are at. Push it in there. Tap it in. This is like a lot of leaves off. I don't have to stake it. A lot of times, if you choose to, you can stake it. I'm not going to do that because this won't take long for these roots to grow out. And we're getting a lot of rains. So I will water this in. There you go. And this will give this guava a chance to start growing happily you know believe it or not when i bought this the mother plant of this i bought it from lowe's and it was about to die because it had millibugs attacking it and i finally got rid of it so i guess somewhere where they shipped it from to that lowe's in our area the guava had has nematodes they're nematodes root not nematodes they attack the roots and it's really bad on guavas 
So I'm making air layers in case the mother plant dies, but I've been doing a lot of worm castings, um, like shrimp mill, crab mill, that they have, a, uh, it has an ingredient in there that will mess up the life cycle of the nematodes and they eat it and it kills them. So I'm trying to do that and some marigolds in the container to see if I can't save it. If I can't, I'll at least have air layers from that tree that I can regrow. So there you have it. We'll pour some of this water in here and I'll probably have to top dress it because it's already settling down in the soil. There you go. So now I'm gonna take it over in its spot. I'm gonna water it good. I'm gonna add another layer right above it. And this air layer will grow fast in no time. Hope you enjoyed this little how to prep your air layer, how to take care of it. And by me taking the leaves off, it can focus on root growth, but at the same time, it has small leaves that will give energy to the roots to grow. I'm going to catch you later. Let me take care of this little beautiful tree. Have a good one.